Hey guys, good evening. I thought I would uh, shoot a quick video. It's been really, really busy for me. Uh, the weather's been terrible. I've been fixing vehicles and selling vehicles and, and uh, trying to consolidate the number of, of uh, vehicles that are in my driveway and filling my barn. So, haven't had a whole lot of time to shoot videos, but I thought I'd do a quick one. I focus mostly on rifles and reloading, um, metallic cartridges and, and some shotgun, but uh, let's talk about something that you, you can't easily reload, and, and that's rimfire. So my favorite rimfire that I own has got to be this Winchester Model 74. This is a little unique. It's a 22 short only semi-automatic. It is uh, fed through a tubular magazine in the buttstock. And there's a neat backstory to this particular rifle. Um, the, the gentleman who owned it, he, uh, he passed away and his wife was friends with, with somebody I know. And she asked that he find good homes, good people to buy these firearms. And so that's how I stumbled across it. And uh, lo and behold, he was a big squirrel hunter, which, which I am as well. And uh, this was his favorite squirrel rifle. In fact, this man, you can tell he loved it. He actually had this, this barrel in action hot blued. You can see it, it was just a beautiful job that they did on this particular uh, bluing job. The, the stock he, he clearly refinished, uh, which is fine. I probably would have gone a little darker. But, uh, and the, you know, the scope's not a whole lot to, you know, it's, it's not a, a really high-end scope. It's just a nickel scope. But when you think about the pragmatic distances at which you're going to squirrel hunt with a 22 short, it's more than adequate. And I've, I've taken squirrels as far as about 40 yards with this, with headshots. And um, I don't know how many squirrels I've shot with it, but it's been a whole bunch. Uh, we've got a bunch of apple trees and, and pear trees. And you know, if you, wanna, if you wanna harvest anything, you're gonna have to get out there and, and cull the squirrels because there aren't a whole lot of people who squirrel hunt these days. And if you're one of those folks who's uh, listening and doesn't squirrel hunt, um, or perhaps you're from a part of the world where that's just not a thing, uh, it may be because uh, the squirrels where you are are ground squirrels. These are tree squirrels, gray squirrels, fox squirrels. Um, and uh, you know where I grew up in Kentucky, squirrel hunting is certainly less popular than it was uh, 40 or 50 years ago. But if you go back to the 1940s and even before that into uh, the the 1930s and the the depression and even into pioneer times squirrel was a main staple that kept food on the table table for people squirrel and rabbit and so uh, that's been a tradition that's been passed down in my family in fact i, I drove by um, uh, a farm where i shot my first squirrel tonight with the boys which made me think of shooting this video and and sharing this with folks. Um, but one of the, the things, if you do shoot uh, um, you know, rim fire, and, or perhaps if you don't and you're interested in, in getting into it, one of the things that you'll find over time is uh, you'll wanna try different ammunition to figure out what shoots most accurately out of your firearm. With a 22 long rifle, you have plenty of options. With 22 short, you have fewer options. Um, but there still are a, a plethora out there. This particular rifle shoots uh, the CCI hollow point, um, the copper clad um, bullet. It's uh, uh, according to the, the, uh, the, the wife of the fellow who, who previously owned this, that was what he shot as well. So I stumbled onto the same bullet that he did just through trial and error. And you'll find that with pretty much all your rim fires. Even with center fire, if you're gonna shoot factory ammunition, there'll, there'll be one or two loads that shoot better, better than others. And you always wanna make sure that you're applying you know, the right bullet construction to the application. And uh, in the case of the CCI, that, that uh, it works marvelously. I've, I've, got, I've got a five gallon bucket full of squirrels in the last few years um, with this rifle. So. Um, that's what I wanted to share. Hopefully you have your favorite 22. Please uh, comment and add your favorite uh, squirrel rifle or, or 22 plinkster 
to the bottom. And if you got any questions about this rifle or, or 22s or squirrel hunting or even recipes, feel free to hit me up. Thanks, and I hope you subscribe.